Hey guys, welcome back to the Girlfriends and Goals podcast. My name is Samaria and I'm joined by my best friend and co-host, Miosha. And today we are doing another Am I the A-Hole reaction. If you are new here, this is something that we've been doing for a while. So if you're watching on YouTube, there is a whole playlist of these. Make sure you check that out. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and that you let us know your thoughts about these scenarios in the comments. And if you are listening on a podcast platform, welcome to YouTube. Uh, we do have this YouTube platform, so please feel free to come here and comment or send us a DM on Instagram at Girlfriends and Goals Podcast. All right, without further ado, we will hop into the first one. All right. This one says, am I the a-hole for tricking my wife's ex-husband into showing he's a liar? This one is a doozy, they say. <laughs> <laughs> My wife's extended family and her ex and their extended family are deeply religious people. I believe they are more concerned with appearing to do the right thing than actually doing it, but that's a whole other am I the a-hole post. My wife is in a nasty custody battle. It's nasty in litigation, but my wife and her family are adamant about being the better party and being the better person. Well, her ex hit her with the latest low blow. During discovery, he sent his income, and his income went from making 80000 a year to 35000 a year at a business he owns. Because of this, my wife actually needs to start paying him child support because of the new disparity in income. Well, in his deposition, my wife's lawyer asked him, do you ever take cash for jobs? He said no. She said, you never take cash? He said, well, maybe a small job for $100, nothing sizable. I said, okay, let's see. I did not tell my wife about what I'm about to tell you, and that's so she has plausible and honest deniability. Mm -hmm. Let's say this man is a carpenter. I called the PI and asked if they wanted some cabinets redone. They said, sure, I explained what I needed. Three weeks later, I have a video of the ex-husband counting out $1,800 in $100 bills, and Ooh. text messages of him saying, cash is fine, no issue. The PI even got it in writing that he paid cash and made sure that there was a mention of no receipt on the video. I provided the video to my wife so she, so she could give it to her attorney. Her mom and sister found out and they basically went off the deep end. Who do you think you are? You think this is your case. You're going to make your wife look like an evil or petty person. My wife seems unmoved by all of this, even though the attorney said this basically destroys his credibility as a witness and at minimum this could... This could be perjury if he doesn't change his answer at the trial and is he is financially dishonest at best. This will help your case. But I feel as though I've helped my wife's case and made her an enemy of her immediate family. My wife seems not displeased, but I feel like she thinks I'm doing too much. I'm just simply trying to help. Am I the a-hole? I mean, wait, so the lawyer, just to make sure I get this right, the lawyer agrees that it helps her case. But the family is the one that's like, oh, you're going to make her look like she's evil and petty. Mm -hmm. okay. And if, if the wife doesn't feel any ways about it, if she likes it, you got to love it. <laughs> like, I, he's, uh, he's not the a-hole. He's trying to make sure his wife doesn't get, uh, you know, walked all over, which it seems like that's what this guy is doing. He's being very strategic with the change of income and, you know, his answers during the deposition. Mm -hmm. So I don't think he's the a-hole. I think it's natural for someone to want there to be some justice when someone they care about is being wronged. Uh, so I don't think he's the a-hole. I think he can't get his feelings too involved considering the family he's dealing with. Like if his wife doesn't have a problem with now having to pay him and if it's coming mm -hmm. out of her pocket, uh, yeah. that feels weird to say it's because it, it's, a, it's affecting his pockets probably too. I don't yeah, know. So what's interesting is that I think I understand not wanting to be dishonest, unnecessarily petty, hitting below the belt, but I think all of that applies when you're in a situation where everyone is quote unquote playing Play fair, fair. Mm -hmm. but he is being dishonest. He's lying to cut your income from 80,000 to 35,000. Right. And the fact that he's saying that, Oh, I never take any cash money. It's, 
it's so obvious really you just provided the proof of what was already happening exactly it's not like, like made what? anything up how how can you be petty for proving that someone is lying mm -hmm. i don't think that is possible here so and i i think for the family um I don't, and this is just me speculating i when they said oh you think this is your case you think you're the one on the line i think from their perspective he's doing too much because he took action mm -hmm. maybe without telling her or getting her or their opinion in the matter and even if they get divorced say they get divorced mm -hmm. she's going to have to deal with this person for the remainder until the children are 18. Yeah. So I think they're thinking, okay, you're acting on something, but what doesn't make sense is that he didn't divulge, the ex-husband doesn't know that he did this. Yeah, so correct. No, so, so it's not like he showed their hand. It's not like he went to the ex-husband and he said, see, gotcha, no, to right. me, he took the proper steps. Very strategic, yeah. And getting the lawyer's opinion, the professional that you're paying probably thousands of dollars to who mm -hmm. agrees with him. Uh, so I'll say, I don't think he's the a-hole, but I do think now that your wife has this information, mm -hmm. it's up to her whether she's going to use it. Use it or, or not. not. And if she's smart, she'll use it because, and who is she gonna look petty to? People who the ex-husband goes back and talks to this about, like who, to, to the ex-husband, yeah. Why, why do we care about what he thinks? Because he's what he said at the beginning, my, ex, my wife's extended family and their ex-extended family are deeply religious people. So you know how sometimes when people are strong in their faith, they may believe in turning the other cheek or not doing too much to get mm -hmm. even or I don't know. I know you've heard of this where I, I mean I have I just I guess because I don't agree with it it's like yeah. okay this it sounds like there's religious and then there's st stupidity and, and then there's a thin line be, ultimately because this is about child support potentially alimony it's the children I think that would suffer meaning mm -hmm. she's presenting factual information about her financial status, yeah. because he owns a business, it may be easier for him to hide his. And so even if they didn't order her to pay him, he may end up having to pay less to his children. Mm -hmm. So I think her mom and the sister, they're not thinking about this dishonesty. Well, if it goes through unchecked, it may end up affecting the children more than anyone. And they're thinking more about what the ex their ex extended family is going right, to feel or think. Yeah, if anything, they should think, oh, she's smart enough to do her due diligence. There are too many cooks in the kitchen, I think. Like the family should not be as involved, and this lady needs to work with her husband to find a solution. Why if did she tell them? If they need, you you know how people talk about custody battles and stuff like that that are you know, know that's going on in their lives. Well, more so, why did she tell her mama what her husband, husband did? did. <laughs> yeah, right. That's between yeah. all two. Exactly. Like there are too many people who are too heavily involved in that. Yeah. But I don't think he's the a hole. I think the family needs to chill. I think the wife needs to probably get a backbone and do what is best for her. If she feels like she wants to go ahead and give away money, then so be it. Uh, but it's, it's gonna be a tough pill to swallow for her new husband. So, yeah, yeah, and I think for, if this is their first go round, he's saying, oh, it's, it's a nasty battle. If this is your initial battle, a lot of times yeah. once these things are put in place, it is expensive and takes a lot of time to get it reversed. Mm -hmm. So now is your time to use this information or expect that it will be in place for the remainder of these children being underage. Yeah. You guys let us know in the comments what you think. If you're listening, go ahead and come on YouTube and let us know in the comments or send us a DM on Instagram. Um, and we'll go ahead and move to the next one. Am I the a-hole for going on a holiday while my wife is pregnant? Me and a group of three friends are all scuba divers, wanted to do a three-week Mediterranean tour for a few years. 
Last year, we made plans to travel to the Mediterranean in September 2023 and go diving, but my wife was having a stressful time at work with job interviews at the time and asked for us to postpone it to this year so I could be around to support her. I said that I would, but that since we're planning to try for a baby this year, I would prefer if we waited after the trip to go off contraception so that one, my wife could come on the trip, and or two, I wouldn't have to miss out again to stay home and support her. My wife said that she didn't want to come on the trip anyway and that she wouldn't mind if I went even if she was pregnant so long as I didn't miss the birth. I agreed to this and me and my friends booked the trip for September 2024 and my wife went off contraception in May so that even if she did become pregnant, the due date wouldn't be until after the trip. Surprisingly, she fell pregnant quickly. She has tested positive and some calculations regarding likely date of conception show that she is already approximately four weeks pregnant, which means she will be approximately three months pregnant when we go on the trip. She is now asking me to cancel so I can be home to support her. However, I think that's unfair since I initially said we shouldn't try for a baby until after the trip and it was her idea to start trying to conceive prior to the trip. It's just three weeks away, and I'm sure she will be fine. She said that the situation has changed since she is now pregnant, and it would be unfair of me to hold her to her word, and it would be unfair of me to go away on a holiday and leave her behind. Mm. <laughs> three weeks, that's, that's an epic vacation. <laughs> <laughs> that that is a lot. And initially when I read it, I was like, oh, yeah, you're definitely the a-hole. Like, why are you... But I'll let I'll let you go first because you only one of us has been pregnant before. So I will go ahead and defer to you. But what's that saying? That's why you shouldn't write checks your eight can't cash. <laughs> <laughs> so you you over here writing checks, girl, you can't cash. You over here committing to stuff when You've never been pregnant before saying this, you, you don't want to go anyways and you can go by yourself and I wouldn't care and you obviously wouldn't know how you felt. I'm going to say he's not the a-hole. Mm -hmm. Based off of the timeline, she'll still be pretty early in her pregnancy. Mm -hmm. I'll say you're not the a-hole, but I understand why she's had the change of heart. Not because she would be expected to go into labor or anything, yeah. but... It could just be that maybe she's not feeling her best. The first mm -hmm. trimester is delicate yeah. uh, for many women. Physically, it's a, it's a lot. So while you're on the trip, she may still be feeling not her best. Yeah. And so I could understand maybe her wanting your support at home to help her get through to the second trimester. Mm -hmm. So I'll say I don't think you're the a-hole it's unfortunate that she's flip-flopped. I would, to keep the peace with your wife, say maybe try to find a middle ground yeah. of going on the trip for maybe the scuba portion, but telling the friends, hey, I'm going to cut it short, maybe only go for a week, week and a half, if possible. So maybe you can meet yeah. in the middle, but I don't know why she would agree. <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't get that either. either early so they had a plan and i understand feelings change but getting pregnant and having a baby is a big deal so mm -hmm. for you to be on one page around when you're gonna start trying and she's on a different page she stops her contraception boom y'all are pregnant yeah but i do think it's a good thing that she'll be from his calculations um past the first trimester or a little past the first trimester no, because that is a really hazy period. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm really glad that he'll be with her throughout that time. And then, you know, we'll go on his trip. Hopefully there are arrangements for other people to be around her to offer her that support during, during that time. Um, if he could cut the trip short, that would probably be ideal. But a three-week Mediterranean vacation probably costs enough that it doesn't make sense to change those plans a whole lot. Like, it wouldn't make sense to go for one week instead of three. You at mm. least got to go 
at yeah, least for for two weeks, for two weeks <laughs> you know, yeah. um, or else you're you're wasting money at that point. And I could understand from his perspective, mm -hmm. because you're about to have a new baby, when would the next opportunity come? It won't. When, yeah. So I understand from his perspective, no, I should just go ahead and go mm -hmm. because this opportunity, once the baby's here, I, you, you say you feel like, oh, you shouldn't go now. She definitely won't want to probably be left in this, mm -hmm. wherever they are at home, taking care of a baby toddler and while you're off frolicking around the Mediterranean I would be so tight yeah <laughs> I'd be so tight <laughs> me and the baby coming with you <laughs> right don't send me any pictures I don't want to see your vacation your little vacation because you know when you mad it's not just it's a little vacation <laughs> um yeah, yeah I, I do think it's a little unfair yeah for I, her if, back then. yeah this is yeah I, I understand not knowing how you're going to feel a year from now but it seems like y'all had a plan. She deviated the initial plan a bit yeah. by wanting to start earlier, but probably not expecting that it would happen as quick as it did, maybe. I if, don't know. if I were him, and I hesitate to say this because I don't want to blame him. I don't think he is the blame, but uh, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. If I were him, I probably would not have agreed to getting off the birth control until after the trip. I mean, she could have obviously controlled that if that's what she wanted anyway, but it sounds yeah. like he had agreed to it, mm. you know, considering that she said, oh, I don't have to come and you can still go. I I don't know if it's because I don't trust people, but well, I, he was going by what she said. Because if you go back, he yeah. was saying, oh, she went off conception in May. So even if she did become pregnant, so he said oh yeah co go ahead and come off of the conception because you agreed you would be okay with me going <laughs> so he right was, he hurt, he hurt i wouldn't have i wouldn't have been comfortable with it because he said that he would prefer to um he said i would prefer if we waited after the trip to go off contraception oh, but yeah, then he, she convinced him yeah she convinced mm -hmm. him i'm sorry but there is no convincing and this, the most persuasive person could never convince me if this were like my once in a lifetime opportunity to do something. But I understand you're in a partnership and it's not all about you. So he wanted to make some compromise. I think that was his compromise and she should make one now. But of course it's never like, oh, you make this compromise today and then I'll make the next one, you know? And he made that compromise with the understanding that, okay, if, if you do become pregnant, mm -hmm. this will be well before the due date. You said you don't yes. even have to go. You don't mind if I go. Right. So he made that compromise under the understanding that she would keep to her word. Mm -hmm. So she, she flip-flop, you know. She flip-flop. So. Hey, <laughs> sis, we all do it, but if you're going to be a flip-flopper, you, you might have to consider that there are some compromises you might have to make. Maybe during this time, find you and a girlfriend and go have a mini little staycation somewhere. I don't know, maybe have a change of scenery, do something on a smaller scale, yeah. close to home that you would feel more comfortable doing. So maybe you're not thinking about all the fun he's having. Right. Um, or if it's yeah. still possible, go on the vacation with him. It, it probably isn't. Maybe all the payments have been made, but say he has his own room. Okay, you can come and stay mm -hmm. in the room with him. Like people go on baby moons when they're what, like mm -hmm. six, seven months, Some, mm -hmm. sometimes even eight. So girl, you could make this your baby moon too. Yeah, he's not the a-hole. Try to find a way to meet in middle in the middle. And ladies, let's stop writing these checks. <laughs> let's stop agreeing to stuff years out because we don't know. Oh, I'll be fine with it. I, I know I've heard myself saying that before. Oh, I'll be fine with it. That won't even be a big deal. And then when mm -hmm. the time comes, it's the biggest deal of all See the deals that was ever. Right. I know. So mm -hmm. you yeah. guys let us know what you think. Is he the a-hole? Um, Initially, I thought he was just reading the title, but I've changed my mind. So y'all let us know in the comments what you think. And we will end today's reaction here and see y'all on the next one. Bye. Bye.